Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of more stuff to go over. We're going to be taking a look at some more pages from the new Pokemon Legends Arceus guidebook that is now out in Japan, has been translated by Pokustami. As well as that, we also have some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet theories to take a look at as well. So quite a few things to cover today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, as mentioned in the previous video where we took a look at other kind of concept art and stuff for characters in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Massive shout out to Poki Sutami who is the brains behind all these translations. We'll link her stuff in the description down below. Uh, and again, she also translates potential Japanese rumors, potential Japanese leaks and stuff. So she's very much worth following if you want any light updates on Japanese rumors and stuff like that. But anyway, um, if you didn't see all the other concept art kind of pictures and stuff, went over it in the last video. But this time, we're starting with Sebi um, and quite a bit of text on this concept art page here. So uh, she's falling here, thud, uh, and then she doesn't look too happy. So she likes flying while being held by a Pokemon, um, which I guess makes sense because of the whole Braviary situation. She has psychic-like eyes, and then she's got a ring worn around her neck, and then also tomorrow's snack is Dango. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, and then it also says uh, where the future is seen, and then of course we just have some more concept images and stuff. I really like this image. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's just, I guess, some more character art there. Character references, stuff like that. Um, so she actually is uh, clairvoyant, and here I thought she was just a troll. Maybe her power only truly extends to the next day snacks, uh, or it's just what she decides she wants to snack. Uh, and then again, more people just appreciating the fact that she is um, translating all of this stuff. And then the next one we're going to be going over is uh, Gyrick. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one properly. Again, more text here, more concept art. So physical maintenance uh, is done precisely. So that's him having a shave. The daily routine is running 10 kilometers while pulling an Ava look. Jeez, man. I'm, I'm hoping it's not the Ava look that you actually have to take on, uh, which is the Noble Pokemon, because I don't think he's getting anywhere near 10km with that. Uh, habit of folding his arms. Uh, and then we actually have the Pearl kind of clan... Um, jumper jacket whatever I, I guess you'd call it um tied around his waist and then we have another image here of him um with with another character so again more concept art there with uh him uh and then we also have um the next one here which is volo and of course uh we all know how annoying this dude is in the post game but uh again really cool character art here so we have um this is like i guess evil volo and then we also have like I guess still evil Volo, but before he's like attacking you and stuff. So we have a pendant, uh, and then here we have him on a complete high. And then also he's so big as well. So we actually have um, Volo, which is 190 centimeters tall. So 190 centimeters is, I don't even know to be fair. Like, this is big, it's tall. He's a very big boy. Um, he's very, very tall. Uh, and then we have the pa Patosaur uniform version. Um, and then also Odangu there. He's a good guy uh, and a good merchant. As expected, you have a great eye. So that's him just talking to more people. But yeah, I can't believe how tall Volo is, man. 190 centimeters, Jesus. And then we have important translator notes here. So both myself and S-san, native Japanese speaker, had no idea uh, what that meant. Uh, S thought maybe it was a writing mistake and is meant to be patrol. I searched on Google and found nothing but confusion from other people also wondering what it was or what it means. Uh, one thing that I saw theorized is that in Russian, it means sunflower under the sun. And that is probably somehow linked to Arceus. And then also I was torn between he's so tall or he's so big. But I decided to go for the literal translation to avoid any people being... Um, uh, pedantic for literal translations and also memes, but yeah, Volo, very tall dude, 190 centimeters. He's 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 massive. He's he's huge. Uh, and then the next one we're going to be going over is uh, Jinta as well, um, who again just has some more character art and stuff, and then uh, not a lot of text, uh, just volume in the downward direction. He has a little Shinx kind of sleeping on his. Um, uh on his on his lap there and of course very much inspiration volkner stuff like that we all know about translator no i legit forgot uh the ginger even had uh, a page in the book although it only came with a single line of text so yeah not a lot to translate there but it's still cool to see like all the concept art and stuff for sure 100 percent and then we've also got a reader to go over which has a lot of text um so under the obi there flute uh necklace collar bag is under the obi and then gathering plants 
um, a pearl on the top of the bangle and then gathering unconsciously. Uh, the big pearl looks orange depending on the light. Uh, and then when still the OB overlaps, I, get, I think this is the OB that they're talking about. Pearl on the back of her shoes uh, and then motivating, talented at the flute playing. Um, so yeah, just a lot of concept art here for her. This was the most text heavy one. I was running low on space, so the text is small. By the way, Obi is the fabric belt for... Okay, yeah, so that is the fabric belt thing there. Okay. Uh, I loved Iri during Legends. Just a heads up. Instead of Soul, shouldn't it be Soul? Like Soul of the Shoes. Uh, and then yeah, so again, more just character art, stuff like that. And then last but not least, we do have a Darman um who again we've already seen the concept art for because i covered it in the last video but now we actually have translations for it and stuff so he is the li uh, the leader of the diamond clan so we have earring necklace collar wrapping sole of the shoe and then cut at the top of the eyebrow uh, and then this line is makeup and then it's good to have pockets because it's posable and then also childhood so of course that is obviously him as a child and then more text here i've technically already translated this reference sheet before but now i have it without the sample work so i thought i would redo it with all of the reference sheets are completed i may reupload the old ones again tomorrow um and then yeah so that's basically all of the legends arceus kind of character updates and stuff from the guidebook again massive shout out to pokey sutami for translating it all all her stuff will be in the description down below make sure to go show her some love because you know this would have taken a lot of time and uh you know she didn't have to do this so obviously very very generous of her for doing that next up we're gonna finish today's video off by taking a look at some Kind of speculation things, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, um, to do with uh, some things that Soul Silver are tweeted out. So this was the initial tweet where Toto said, "Flower in the uniform of Legends Arceus characters and typical flower of Barcelona. Potential hint of Scarlet and Violet." So they're obviously referencing this kind of flower thing here and how it could be some sort of hint towards Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. And then we have two fun tidbits to speculate on for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Look at this sign from the trailer. Looks like Volcano. Well, the same V is on the region map. This language usually doesn't correlate to English, but who knows? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's region could start with a V. Pokemon Legends Arceus Alpha Emblem, interesting too. So this was posted on April the 12th. I think I might have actually covered this bit, but it's kind of had like more replies and stuff about it here um, with like different texts and stuff. But yeah, basically the main thing is that the region of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could potentially start with a V, um, thanks to like these images here and stuff. But we obviously have people replying saying, not saying they're telling the truth, but there is a person claiming to be a leak code. Oh no, that's the SV guy. SV guy, by the way, if you didn't know, uh, is um, not a leaker now. It's come out that they, they are fake, that, you know, they were made making it all up and stuff um so yeah that, that's, so if you ever see anything by the sv guy because i think he posted like another desert kind of picture or something basically if you see anything about him on any anyway it's all fake i was checking the maps and if the v means a there are a few names regions of spain that could be uh related so uh andalusia the best i think asturia aragon could be a good name for a pokemon region and then in Motostoke, we have the Vinyl Disc Store, which also starts with that letter. If we are able to figure out what it says, we'll get it. Um, so yeah, that's the Vinyl Store there. And also the V symbol is an A in the Sword and Shield intro, uh, the Macro Cosmos logo. Um, as long as I'm aware of the alphabet of Pokemon games, I think the word you are referring to starts by A. I need to check the alphabet decoder for Sword and Shield, and it may be different for the new region. Yeah, I've seen that. It could be an A then. So yeah, it could be a V. It could be an A. It could be none of that, but it is likely that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's region will start with the letter V or the letter A. So again, it is just kind of rumor and speculation stuff at the moment, but it, it potentially could be true. Uh, the Valaris region sounds uh, neat, but it won't be long now until we get the region name confirmed. Um, there's been quite a few rumors with names starting with V already. I just hope it doesn't um, sound as weird as some of those do. Um, so yeah, basically, like I say, it wasn't just the SV guy that came out with like a rumor about the region beginning with V. Like we know that that was all fake now, but there are other rumors that have been posted that, um, yeah, as I say, say that they start with like V and stuff like that. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. What do you think the region of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is going to start with? And of course, uh, what is your favorite character in Pokemon Legends Arceus? I, I just still can't go without Baldi Tall Volo is man. He's absolutely massive. Anyway, massive shout out to Pokemon uh, Sutami again. That's everything from us though. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Let's try it at 500. Again, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. Or ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.